डे थ्री असाइनमेंट ऑफ फाइव डे ए आई एज एन इंटेंसिव एज सो टूडे असाइनमेंट इज कंप्लीट यूनिट थ्री कॉन्टेक्स्ट इंजीनियरिंग सेशन एंड मेमोरी सो फर्स्ट टास्क वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज लिजन टू द समरी पॉडकास्ट एपिसोड फॉर दिस यूनिट क्रिएटेड बाई नोटबुक एलेवन सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लिजन दिस जस्ट क्लिक हियर देन यू विल बी रीडायरेक्टेड टू अ पॉडकास्ट You can listen. Most people try to treat procrastination with hard. Next, if you don't want to listen to the podcast, you can go with the material here. So, if you are new here, don't forget to hit the hit the subscribe button because I post the videos related to tech related stuff, job updates, internship updates, and free courses. So, I even post the videos related to Google AI agent. So, check it out and complete your assignments. So, here is the material. You can go through it and. Also, you can uh, download this material. So next, you need to complete two tasks in this. So first task is build stateful agents and perform context engineering, and the second task is explore how to use memory with your agent. So before doing the assignment, these are some important steps which you need to follow. So first, you need to verify your account. As this is day three, you might have done this verification. Previously only, but if you haven't done it, you can just watch the video from my channel. I have uploaded it. Next, you need to make your own copy. Then run courses. And if you get stuck anywhere, to restart means you need to restart. You you can restart by selecting factory reset from the run menu. Okay. While explaining that, I will just show you this. Select factory reset. Look. Okay. So now. Click on copy and edit. So this page will be opened. You can run your codes here. So if you get any error during any phase, you can just click on factory reset. This will reset your codes. Okay. So before before going to this, we need to do before even moving to this part, you need to generate your secret key. So how to generate your secret key? Already have said in my previous video. So here I will give just a glimpse of it. Okay. So go to the Google AI Studio. So here you can click on Create API, and then you can create your API key. Just click on after giving your key name. Click on Select Project. Then click on Create Project. Then name your project. Then click on Create Project. Then you'll then you can create the key. So in this way, you need to create the key, and after that, you can just copy the key and come back here. Click on Add Zone, then click on Secrets. Then we'll here in the right side you get like Enter Label and Enter Value. So in the label, just scroll down. In this, you can see a word like Google API Key. Just copy paste exactly and paste it under Add a Label. Then In the value, just enter your secret key. I have already entered my secret key. So after that, you will get something like Google API key, and this should be checked in order to keep your key in a secret way. Okay. So now you need to authenticate in the notebook. That is, you need to run all the cell and complete the authentication. So firstly, we need to run this code. So the purpose of this code is to Securely retrieve and set up your Google API key in Kaggle. It ensures that your notebook can connect to Google's AI model like Gemini without exposing your key publicly. In short, it's used for authentication and safe access to Google AI services. So just click on this and click on the Run button. It will take a few minutes. So if we get something like Gemini API key setup complete, then this step is successful. Next. One point three is import ADK components, and the purpose of this code is to import all the necessary building blocks from the agent development kit to create and run your AI agent. It gives you access to tools for handling conversations, connecting external services, managing sessions, and using the Gemini model inside your custom AI agent. So this is all about importing ADK components. So click on this and click on the Run button. Wait for a few minutes. It will be all set to go. So if you get something like ADK components imported successfully, then you are done with this step. So next, the 
One point four is helper function. Means helper function that manages a complete conversation session, handling session, creation or retrieval, query processing, and response streaming. It supports both single queries and multiple queries in sequence. So here you can see the example. It can handle both the single queries. That is, what is the capital of France? And it will also handle multiple queries like hello, what, see me. So just run this code. You should get something like helper function defined. Then 1.5 is configure retry options. Means if you are getting any error, you should run this. Come back and run this. So before uh, even getting error, you should run it once. Okay. Done with it. Next, section 2 is about session management. So, what is the problem basically? So, large language models like Gemini or stateless means if you give any question to them, at that particular time they remember. They don't remember your earlier charts. So, each time you need to remind them. Okay. So, without proper memory management or without proper session management, your model can't predict the answers or it can't perform multiple tasks and it can't give context-based solution and it can't perform efficiently. So, how we can fix that? So, ADK has introduced like short-term memory management and long-term memory management. So, the ADK provides the session management by using which we can do the task efficiently and perform multiple tasks and also produce context-based solutions. So, what is a session? So, session is a, like a container for conversation. The conversation between you and the agent will be stored in a container. That is, you can treat it as a chat history box where conversation between one person and the agent will be done. So, it keeps the track of what the user asked and what the agent, AI agent replies and what the tools the AI agent uses and everything. So, each user means each separate user has their own session. Each agent is having their own, own separate session. So, they won't get mixed up. So, the session is compromised of two key components. They are events and state. So, what is this event? Event is something like uh, it keeps track of uh, every conversation. That is what you say, what the agent replies and all. So, it basically keeps track of everything happens in a chart. It keeps the information given by the users. So, it can make the conversation consistent. So, here you can see session has two main components that is events and states. Then comes to how to manage sessions. So, an agent can have multiple users and each user can have multiple sessions. And this can be handled by the ADKs. And to handle this, ADK uses session manager and runner. So, this session service also can be called a session manager. So, it basically stores every data. So, this is also called a storage layer. And the next one is runner which manages the flow of information between user and agent, automatically maintains conversation history, handles the context engineering. So, you can think this like a session as a notebook and events as the individual notes in that page and session service as the cabinet for storing that notebooks and runner as the assistant to maintain that. So, now... Let's implement our first stateful agent. So, what is a stateful agent means that can remember and have constructive conversations. So, let's start. Just run this. So, we got an error here. So, how to rectify this? Go back to the configure option. Here you can find it. Just run this. So, as I stopped editing this for some time. So, I think I'm getting this error. So, in that case, what you should do is just do factory reset. So, in that case, what you should do is click on the three, three dots. Click on restart and clear cell outputs. Then start from the beginning. Start running from this code. Okay. So, see, after restarting, I have run all the previous codes. Now, 
I ran this code, then I got stateful agent initialized application default user default using in memory session service. So now let's test our stateful agent. So click on the run button. So see. So what the user give? Hi, I am Sam. What is the capital of United States? Gemini. Hi, Sam. The capital of United States is Washington. Next again. Hello. What is my name? Then Gemini reply, you told me your name is Sam. When we use ADK, we will get this kind of output. That is, we will get the previous outputs also. Means it will remember what we have, what we had the conversation earlier. But without using the ADK, it won't show the past actions. Like what you chatted earlier or what you had the conversation earlier. Like if you say your name, again you ask what. What is my name? It can't reply. So when you use the ADK, it is it will store the previous data and it will give the outputs. Okay. Success. The agent remembered your name because both queries were part of the same session. The runner automatically maintained the conversation history. But there's a catch. In memory session server service is temporary. Once the application stops, all conversation history is lost. So they are telling here we, we have used in memory service right session service right so it is a temporary so once the application will be stopped all the conversation will be lost testing the agent's forgetfulness so checking like if the application is stopping whether the ai agent is able to give the answer or not to check that you need to restart the kernel just click here and you can just click on restart and clear all cell output <coughs> After that, run all the previous cells in this notebook except the run session in 2.5. So, except this, you can run all the previous cells. So, now run the below. After running the previous cell, run this below cell. You will see the agent doesn't remember anything from the previous conversation. Okay? You just try this. Okay? So, the problem. Session, session information is not persistent. Meaningful conversations are lost not persistent means so the meaningful conversations are lost here persistent means while this is advantageous in testing environments so this will be advantage in testing environments in the real world a user should be able to refer from past and resume conversation to achieve this we must persist information so the section c is about the section 3 is about persistent session with database session service so in memory session service it is great for prototyping real world application need conversation to survive restarts classes and deployments let's level up to persistent storage choosing the right session service adk provides different session service implementation for different needs in memory session service is used in development and testing lost on restart best for quick prototypes database session service self managed apps Service restart small to medium apps. Agent engine solution production on GCP fully managed enterprise scale. So we are using in memory session service. Then if we restart our kernel, it will be lost. The conversation will be lost. But if you are using database session service, the service restarts. Like it is useful in small to medium app. And here it is fully managed. Now let's see how to implement persistent solution. Like we will deal with the database session service here. Just run this code. You should see like upgraded to present the solution. Database my agent session will survive restart. So now let's test this. So run this. So here what user will be saying. Name capital of this uh, capital of United States. So it will answer. So see it remembers. Here you can see it remembers as it did in the in memory session. So in so the next part is optional to test this. That is database session, right? To test that you need to run this. So what you will need to do is repeat the test again, but this time let's stop this kernel notebook kernel and restart again. So here you need to stop the kernel notebook and restart it again. Then run all the previous cell in the notebook except the previous session 3.3. Except this, run all the cells. And after that, uh, run the below cell with the same session ID. Okay, after that you can run this. 
so what you'll get the output is c when you run this so you'll you will ask a question capital of india capital of india is new delhi again what is my name your name is sam so see it is remembering the previous data which you have asked here even though you have stopped the kernel so this is the use of database session so now let's verify that session that the session data is isolated to verify that you can just run this code so these will be private right if you run with a different session id then when you ask the question it don't access to your personal info next how are the events stored in the database since we are using SQLite DB to store information. Let's have a quick peek to how information is stored. So you can check how information is stored here. So click this, you run this, you can see in this way the information will be stored here. Now let's go with the section 4 that is context compaction. So you can go with the diagram or the flowchart. So next create an app for the agent. Just run this code. So here is just a warning that you can ignore it. Then even though you run that it won't fix so because it is a warning. So next go with running the demo, run the code. Then go with verifying compaction, run the code. Run the code. So here is the compaction. Let's go with uh, what you have accomplished. In a similar way, run all other codes. Creating an agent with session talk. Uh, testing sessions with state in action. Just ignore the warnings. Session state isolation. Cross session start sharing. And go with all. Then you are all set to go. So in this video i just explained about 3a in next video i'll explain about 3b so stay tuned